Hi everyone, so in this video we'll talk about Shidiya Kagashi syndrome. So let's get started. So this particular syndrome is a rarely inherited disorder. So some of the features of this syndrome includes progressive neurological dysfunction and increased tendency to develop leukemia and lymphoma and depigmentation of hair, skin and eyes. Also almost 90% of those afflicted have severe immunological deficiency displaying defective NK cells or natural killer cell function and deficits in neurological or neutrophil function activity pardon. So this particular syndrome affects a lot of people which do which have a weakened immune system that does not have natural killer cells and their particular neutrophil cells do not work. So overall their immune system is very weak. So they are very prone to these kind of syndromes. So some of the advanced, uh, some of the features for this particular syndrome includes so this result in greatly shortened lifespan many Shidiya Kagasi patients come to disease in childhood so these have a very less lifespan and due to very strong very weak immune system and overall the structure of that person becomes very laggy and weak so due to that uh, the person cannot survive for long so secondly microscopy examination of leukocytes from uh, Shidiya Kagasi syndrome patient reveals gigant or giant lysosomes that are characteristics of this disease so this particular syndrome is characterized by huge lysosomes or giant lysosomes when seen under microscope also only those homozygous for a mutant form of a gene known as chs1 or lyst lysosomal trafficking regulator develop shidia kagasi syndrome so there are some features that are related to this particular syndrome that is only the ones only the only those who have homozygous or have genes which are homozygous for that particular uh, chs syndrome only get that particular disease also the ones which have lysosomal trafficking regulator develop Shidiya Kagasi syndrome but not all of them but these need to be in a homozygous form and not in heterozygous form so these must have genes that are very much similar to each other and not different also a corresponding mutation has been found in big mice and the mouse analog of human CHS1 LYST and the mouse and the human homologous both encode a very large polypeptide of 2186 amino acids. So these are tested in mice and mouse as well with the same with the replica of humans in mice and uh, mice and mouse so as to test how these uh, genes work and these have encoded a very large polypeptide of 2186 amino acids so these corresponding mutations has been found and due to this uh, chs this particular syndrome has been detected so moving with that so this is a picture of you can see so this is a neutrophil with giant giant lysosomes la characteristics of chs syndrome or shidiya kagasi syndrome so this is uh, you can see giant lysosomes you can see in the microscopic picture so uh, this is a neutrophil picture which has giant lysosomes and bone marrow transplant, uh, transplantation or BMT is the only effective therapy for defective natural killer cells, abandoned macrophage activation and susceptibility to bacterial infections that plague those afflicted with this particular syndrome. So you can, uh, you can there's, there's just only one solution you can see here which is bone marrow transplantation to make your immune system stronger because this particular syndrome lacks the natural killer cells do not have na neutrophils action and these have giant lysosomes so to treat that bone marrow transplantation is the only cure that is available to us for treating this particular syndrome so moving with that so talking about some more deficiency that may lead to this particular syndrome is deficiency in transporters associated with antigen presentation leads to diverse disease spectrum so this particular tap you can see that these are some genes so which are very essential for human beings so deficiency of this particular genes may result in syndromes and other disease as well so this is a rare condition known as bare lymphocyte syndrome or bls 
So along with the syndrome, along with Shidia Kagasi syndromes, these may lead to formation of Bell lymphocyte syndrome or BLS due to deficiency of Tab genes and other uh, transporter genes. So the lymphocytes in BLS patient express MHC molecules at below normal levels and in some cases not at all. So the lymphocytes in BLS or this particular syndrome. So the lymphocyte in bare lymphocyte syndrome patients express the major histocompatibility molecules at a lower level than at normals and in some cases the level is very low. Also in type 1 BLS a deficiency of BH1 class 1 molecules exist whereas in type 2 BLS expression of class 2 molecules is impaired. So there are different types of this particular syndrome which is BLS which is very much similar to Shidia Kagasi syndrome and these are caused due to deficiency of TAP cells and due to the deficiency of TAP cells also these Shidia Kagasi syndromes are caused as well. So the cause is more or less the same but there are two different syndromes we can see here so there are two different types of bls or bare lymphocyte syndrome which is type 1 and type 2 in type 1 we see that uh, there's the deficiency of mh mhc class 1 type molecule whereas in type 2 bls we see deficiency of mhc class 2 type molecule so the pathogenesis of one type of bls underscores the importance of the class 1 family of MHC molecules in their role, dual roles of preventing autoimmunity as well as defending against pathogen. So you can see uh, the pathogenesis or while well, the lead cause of the disease of one type of BLS underscores the importance of the class 1 family of uh, MHC molecules. So you can see in type 1 BLS, the deficiency of MHC class 1 molecule, the deficiency of major histone compatibility class 1 molecules exist due to which the type 1 uh, M M M BL syndrome is caused. So these lead to prevention in autoimmunity as well as defending against pathogen and thereby making your body very weak. So with that, talking about some more types which is defects in promoter sequence that preclude MHC gene uh, transcription were found for some two, some two type 2 BLS cases but in many instances the nature of underlying defect is not known so there are so also you can see the defects in promoter sequence are also included in this particular syndrome which is bls syndrome also a recent study has identified a group of patients with type 1 bls due to defects in tap 1 and tap 2 genes so as i was telling you the tap genes so you can see here the major population who are suffering from type 1 uh, bare lymphocyte syndrome are caused due to uh, deficiency in or defects in TAP1 or TAP2 genes. Also in early life, the TAP deficient individual suffers frequent bacterial infections of the upper respiratory tract and in the second decade begins to have chronic infections in the lung. So the ones which have uh, deficiency or defects in TAP genes from birth or from a very early age are very much prone to bacterial diseases and they have a weakened respiratory tract which are which is more prone to bacteria and thus lead to chronic infections to the lungs so no some of the noteworthy point would be is the absence of any severe viral infection which is common in immunodeficiency with t cell involvement so the absence of any severe viral infection is common whereas uh, when the tap genes are present in sufficient so wherever the tap genes are not present the effect of bacteria will be visible in the respiratory tract which will lead to chronic infections also one of the diseases which is caused due to deficiency in tap genes is bronchiolitis which is dilation of bronchial tubes which often occurs and recurring infections can lead to lung damage that may be fatal so you can see here there's a picture of uh, this particular syndrome as well so this is a necrotizing uh, granulomatous uh, lesions in the mid phase of patients with TAP deficiency syndrome and this TAP deficiency leads to condition with symptoms characteristics of autoimmunity such as skin lesions that appear on the extremities on the mid surface. So these are some of the very harmful effects of this particular syndrome. So Shidia Kagasi syndrome and BLS are pretty much the same because due to deficiency of the TAP genes and other genes which I've said. So let's just keep this video till here. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.